The Irish with Flowers and the uh, Marquette team with Jerome Wedded. Marquette gets the tap, which Lee has it on a wing left. Goes to Jimmy Borden. Jimmy Borden setting up the offense. Notre Dame goes into a 2-1-2 two -two zone. Right wing to Bernard Toon was one of the heroes in the NCAA championship ball club of a year ago. Butch Lee back over to Borden. Back over to Lee in the left corner to Toon. Back out to Lee. Top of the key. Borden moves to the right side. Mets against Chuck Williams now. Beat to the top of the key over to Lee. Outside to Bernard Toon. Toon in the lane. Jerome Whitehead jump shot. Won't go. Gets the rebound. Puts it up again. Won't go again. Rebound battle four. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be Marquette Ball. Borden puts it back in to Toon on the wing left. Top of the key to Lee. Back to Toon in the corner to Borden. Back out to Toon. Top of the key to Butchley, the All-America guard. Right side, baseline. Here's Jimmy Borden, a hard-nosed competitor. Over to Lee. Back to Toon again. Toon picked up by Browning. On the left side over to Borden. No score. 19 12 left to play in the first half. We've had two shots, both by Whitehead. Two misses. Here we go out to Toon. Top of the key to Borden's over to Borden. Borden looking. Starts to drive to the right side. Comes around the circle. Goes baseline right. Back out to Toon again. Beat to the left side. Over to Butch Lee. Marquette is playing a lot of faces. Lee on the drive. Shot up the good whistle and a foul. On the way to the hoop. 1855 showing on the clock. Borden looping pass outside the Toon. Toon back out to Butch Lee at the top of the key. This one figures to be a low scoring ball game. Both teams here to take the good percentage shot. Borden works it left out to Butch Lee. Right now, Marquette is 0 for 2. Here's the fake, and we're going to get a jump ball call. Feels Marquette has to control the tempo. Notre Dame gets the tap. Flowers on the right side over to Batten. Batten feeds right corner to Duck Williams. Dan comes out at the right point. He chased by Borden. Gives the ball over to Bruce Flowers. Flowers over to Batten, top of the key. Works it left over to Branning. Branning now over to Flowers. Fake leg. Passes off. Here's Cuddy for Duke. A shot up in the air off the rim. Tap was missed by Flowers. Loose ball by the four to whistle and a foul. Evans on the way up court. Come to the key. Feed left over to Bernard Toon. Down low over to Butch Lee. Back out to Toon again. Toon feeds to the right side. Borden brings the ball around. Picked up by Duck Williams. Out to Toon. Jump shot. 18 for a hit. Bernard Toon gets the first hoop for the game. And Marquette leads it 2 nothing. Now the Warriors at a full court press. Here's Branning trying to bring the ball up for Notre Dame. Bruce Flowers has it. Brings it across the timeline. Gives it back to Richie Branning again. Branning at the top of the key against Butch Lee. Feet left to bat and down low. Baseline left. Duck Williams has it over against Borden. Borden bats the ball away, then takes it out of the air. A steal for Jimmy Borden of Marquette. At the key. Feet left. Bernard Toon, second shot up in the air. Hit! Bernard Toon bags the second basket. Marquette out in front now. Four to nothing with 17.30 to go in the first half. Irish working against the press. Duck Williams double teamed in trouble. Pass the court goes to Batten. And Batten is fouled by Euler's Bain. That's the ball looking for the open man. Looping pass goes out to Batten. Bounces off his head behind him, picks it up. Batten feed left. The ball going to Kelly Tribuca. Down low, baseline left. It's Flowers outside. Branning can't drive on Brooks Lee. Flowers takes the shot over one head and connects. Bruce Flowers brings the ball up court. 6-2 senior out of Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Inside, Euler Payne with a bank shot. Won't go win, but a foul is called. Championship back-to-back. -back. Well, that's another story. Triggers up, and it's good. So Payne has two, Marquette has six, and the Irish are down by four. Bradding to put the ball in play. Gets it in over to Batten. Back to Bradding under the basket. Almost got away by the hard-nosed Jimmy Borden. Gets the ball up court. Got a trip to has got it. Back over to Richie Bradden. Baseline left. Can't get away from Butch Lee. Wheels around on the dribble. Takes the running 10 for a hit. Richie Bradden scores. Past the timeline. Notre Dame is now shifted to a man-to-man. -man. At the top of the key, we've got Toon down low. Whitehead getting double teamed out to Lee. Back to Whitehead again. Back out to Butch Lee in the left corner. Butch Lee can't get it back to Whitehead. Goes to Toon instead. Lost the ball. Got it back again. Feed to Butch Lee on a wing left. Back out to Toon. Top of the key. The ball goes to the right point. Jimmy Boyden's got it. Gives the ball to Euler Spade. He's matched against Kelly Tribuca. Back out to Boyden again. Picked up by Richie Browning. Now Boyden wants Jerome Whitehead to pick Browning off and does. They've got a mismatch here. Batten now back again. Back out to Payne. 21 footer connects. Euler Payne hits from the left of the key outside about 21 feet away. That's going to make it 8 to 4. Marquette out in front. Warriors pressing, but Duck Williams breaks the press, gets past, gets in the lane. Speed right, shot by Batten, crosses his block, takes down low by Bernard Toon. Third out to Jimmy Borden, and he brings it across the timeline. Marquette by four. Borden, speed right, jump shot, Butch Lee hits. Butch Lee connects. The score is 10 to 4. The ball put in play by Bradding. It's off of the hands of Bruce Flowers. Borden will get it into Butch Lee. Lee left to the key, picked up by Richie Branning. Feed right to Bernard Toon, starts to drive a duck with him. Pulls up, 15 footer off the rim. Rebound grabbed by Euler Payne. Bank shot, got it. 
Jonas Payne on the back shot got six points. And it's now 12 to 4. Marquette out in front. And Digger Phelps is going to the bench. Tracy Jackson will come in. Bill Landbeer will come in for Notre Dame. The Irish down by eight. Grinding in backcourt. Trying to get away from Butch Lee. Double teamed by Lee and by Boylan. Duck Williams has it. Over to Tribuca. Baseline left. Dave Batten's got the ball. Here's Browning. Baseline taking the shot. No, never got it off. That is proving to be a factor in this game. Richie Browning trying to get the ball in. Looking. Loops the ball in. Tracy Jackson in the ball game. First shot goes up and it goes in. So the young man. Boylan brings the ball up court. 14.40 left to go in the first half. Mark gets while six. Here's the pay feed into Whitehead. Whitehead with a bank shot. Gets it up and gets it in. Whitehead got that pass down low. Banked it in off the glass to make it 14 to 6. Marquette putting the pressure effectively on Notre Dame. The feed up court over to Duck Williams. Williams right side of the key. John now comes out. Picked up by Jimmy Borden. Wheels around in the lane. Challenger shot no good. Tap no good. Rebound shot up and it's good by Bill Lambeer. Bill Lambeer. 6-11 sophomore out of Toledo, Ohio. Warriors top of the key right side over to Borden. Back to shoot in the right corner. Over to Borden. Drops it down low. Whitehead under the basket to Bernard Coon. Heavy traffic and a whistle and what's it going to be? A traveling call and Marquette will turn the ball over. He cuts the lead down to four. Branning again, finding the open man. It's Tracy Jackson back to Richie Branning. The press is on. Branning eludes Butch Lee. Loops the pass up court. Lambeer's got it. Wheels around. Duck Williams in the right corner. Comes up for the ball. Williams now will bring it to the top of the key. Feed it over to Dave Batten. Batten outside along with Bernard Toon. Back over to Branning. Down low over to Bill Lambeer. A whistle and a foul. And the foul is going to be charged, I believe, to Jerome Whitehead. Williams on the left side. Top of the key over to Batten. Working around right side. Branning down low. Lambeer turn around jumper. Rolls off the rim. Jules Payne had the ball. A whistle and a foul. It's going to be charged to Duck Williams of Notre Dame. 14 8, Marquette. Here's Boylan at the key. Wheels around. Looks to the right. Looks to the left. Gives the ball to Toon. Back to Boylan again. Bobble has got it back. Release back to Toon on the wing left. Toon picked up by Dave Batten. Right side, Jimmy Borden, now picked up by Don Williams on the switch. Bounce pass down low, Payne works underneath, shot up, no good, whistle foul. Jules Payne, quick as a cat, worked that ball underneath, missed the shot, but got fouled. Played well against uh, UCLA. Shot up, and it's good. So four to four for Jules Payne. He's the only man to get to the free throw line so far in the ball game. 16-8, Marquette, lead pass to Williams. Williams to Lambeer, slams it home. Well, they broke the perfect frame and not happy with the play of his defensive unit on that one. Somebody fell asleep. Here's Jimmy Boylan again. Boylan setting it up. The Irish going man-to-man. Back out to Boylan. Now looks like a zone again, a 2-3. Or maybe a 1-3-1. Baseline jumper, Butch Lee off the rim. On the earth, Tracy Jackson pulls on the rebound. Hits from the Irish at court. Richie Browning, past the timeline, working against Butch Lee. Feed right to Duff Williams. Williams comes to the key, wheels around, drops the ball on the wing, the ball goes out to Lambeer. Baseline drive, running to the hoop, shot blocked by two. Put up by Lambeer, he's got it in. Lambeer reaching for the rebound, got it up and in, he's got six points. Top of the key over to Boynton, right side over to Butch Lee. Lee in the lane, Jerome Whitehead, spin around, jump shot, the first pivot jumper is good. Whitehead second basket is fourth point, that'll make it 18 to 12. Marquette by a half a dozen. Find it, Kraft Browning back in the backcourt. Browning gets the ball over to Tracy Jackson. Jackson passed the timeline. Drives by Jerome Whitehead. Stop, looks, bounce pass. Off his hands was instead of for Lambeer, intercepted by Jimmy Borden. Borden brings it straight up the middle, gives it to Whitehead. Whitehead on the drive, and a call of call on Jerome Whitehead. Richie Browning, he'll bring it up court. Notre Dame down by three hoops. 11.35 left to go in the first half. Tony Roberts, Pat Sheridan, and uh, we've got three more big games coming up on Mutual. We'll talk about those later on. A foul is called here on Jimmy Boynton as the ball went to Orlando Woolridge. Played out of Tracy Jackson. Drops the ball back to Browning. Quarter court left side. Browning at the left point. Comes down to the left side looking for the open man. Working the ball against Butch Lee. Gets the ball over to Bill. No, he didn't get it to Lambert. It was intercepted by Jerome Whitehead. The pass was not a good one. Whitehead got the intercept and Notre Dame turns it over. They could be down by eight. Boynton takes the 20-foot jump shot off the rim. Whitehead leaping high to grab the rebound, a whistle and a foul. Richie Browning, 18-12, Marquette, Notre Dame on the attack. Up court to Tracy Jackson. Jackson gets the ball working against Euler's Payne. Jackson, 6'5", freshman out of Silver Spring, Maryland. Bounce pass over to Orlando Woolridge, another freshman. Over to Stan Wilcox now. Wilcox fading right over to Lambeer in the right corner to Woolridge. Woolridge working the ball, had it knocked away, got it back again. In the right corner, tough man-to-man defense by Marquette. Jackson, fadeaway jump shot, rolls off the rim. Rebound is grabbed by Bernard Toon. We talked about Stan Wilcox. He's a freshman for North Babylon, New York. So right now, three freshmen in the ballgame for the fighting Irish of Notre Dame. 
Deep right, Bernard Kuhn, 18 foot of slot nicely by Jackson. And a jump ball is going to be called. Situation, he can hold his own. Kuhn taps the ball, Marquette gets it, Jimmy Borden's got it for the Warriors. Deep right to Kuhn, in the lane, Whitehead over, Lambert for two. Jerome Whitehead got that ball in the lane over Whitehead for, rather, over Lambert for two. So Jerome Whitehead now has three baskets, six points, and it's an eight-point lead again for Marquette, 20 to 12. Branning for the Irish. Right side, the ball going to Tracy Jackson. Jackson out to Branning, he's going to have to shoot the 19-footer, does, it won't go in. Rebound taken by Euler's Payne. And Payne looking for the open man, one hands the ball up the right side of Jimmy Borden. Borden, leisurely across the timeline. Checks with coach Hank Raymond. Feet to the right side of Bernard Toon. They don't work it down low. In the lane again. Here's the jumper by Whitehead. Up and over Lambeer. And Whitehead has made two in a row over Lambeer. Dave Batten in the ball game. Bruce Flowers is back in. Branning in the corner. Lambeer's got it. Lambeer, one of the more steady players on the Irish team so far this year. Here's the drive by Wilcox. The jumper off the rim. No good. Pulled down by Jerome Whitehead. And right now, Marquette's controlling both ends. Marquette 22, Notre Dame 12 for the Warriors. Left to Butch Lee. Lee on the wing. Dribbles once. Robs the ball. Whitehead getting away from Lambeer. Lambeer cannot contain Whitehead. And Whitehead has now made three straight baskets. Eat up by Bradding. Up to Wilcox. And a foul is going to be called in the backcourt. And I believe it's going to be on Bernard Toon. Getting 10 points. Victimizing Lambeer, who helped Notre Dame with good rebounding. So the Irish put it in play. Duck Williams has it in the backcourt. Waiting to meet him at the timeline is Butch Lee. Williams changes hands on the dribble, gets it past the timeline, left corner, the ball going to Wilcox, down low, batting with a hook, too long. Rebound is grabbed by Kelly Trebuca, and number three foul is going to be called on Jerome Whitehead. And now, the whole aspect of this basketball game just might change. Marquette has now switched to his own. Out it goes to Batten, Batten with a 22-footer off the rim. Loose ball grabbed by Butch Lee, and the Warriors quickly bring it up court. Butch Lee lost the ball on the dribble. Looking to the left, let that ball bounce too high, down by a dozen. Here's Don Williams, bounce pass low to Wilcox. Wilcox, a freshman, gets the ball over to Bruce Flowers. Flowers driving toward the lane, stops, feeds the ball off to Wilcox. Wilcox looking for the open man. It's Batten, pulls up, passes off. Looking for the open shot, is up to the short by Bruce Flowers. Bruce Flowers got a hoop. Irish down by 10. Now Notre Dame's going to have to play some tough D. Off the Euler's Payne. Left of the key. Butch Lee starts his drive. Comes around the right side. Runs into Flowers. Falls down. No call on the play. Butch Lee. Fade away. Jump shot. It's in. Butch Lee connects. He's got four. So that means he needs another dozen of the staff to do it before the season's over. He's certain to get it. Kelly Trapuca over to Batten. Left to the key to Wilcox. 26-14 Marquette. Williams fake. Look. Double team. Back over to Batten. Wilcox out of drive. Feeding off. Trapuca with a shot. Up in and out. Won't go. He's had one basket in two games. And Kelly Trapuca can't buy a hoop. He made five straight free throws against South Carolina. Marquette out in front. The Warriors have the ball. Top of the key. Odell ball replacing Jerome White. At Jimmy Borden with a shot. Up and in. Baseline right jumper in the right corner. Williams down low to Kajuk and for Flowers off his hands and out of bounds. And Notre Dame turns it over. He left. Butch Lee over to Bernard Toon. Back over to Butch Lee. Back over to Toon again. Toon on the dribble. Goes to the left corner. Open man. Borden at the lane. Wheeled around. Can't get his shot. Comes back out again. He'll set up the offense. 6.20 on the clock, the second tick away. Odell Ball, ball for traveling. Made a move left and then right. Travel with a ball. 6'7 sophomore Bill Hanslick from Beloit, Wisconsin. He's got the ball. Right side, Duck Williams. Big can't get the shot. Can't get away from Bernard Toon. Back out to Hanslick, and we've got a foul called. Who's it going to be on? The foul is going to be charged to Odell Ball. Well, it's up and good. The right-handed push bounces around and drops in. A half a dozen points for Bruce Flowers. Marquette out in front. Now the Irish pressing. Lee working against Hanslick, and the pass goes up to Euler's Payne. Had it, dropped it, got it back again. At the timeline, Odell Ball has it. Double team, feed to the left side. Butch Lee's got it. Notre Dame will drop back on defense, and Marquette will work the offense. Lee trying to drive on Don Williams. Goes to the basket, lays it up, and gets it in. Butch Lee got the step he needed on everybody. And Here's Hanslick in the lane. Heavy traffic. Put the shot up. Ball short under the basket. Coming up with the ball is Tracy Jackson, but he steps down the line. Butch Lee in play, over to Jimmy Borden, back to Lee. Notre Dame pressing now, trying to put the pressure on. Cross some Marquette turnovers, Bernard Toon has it. 15-foot jump shot, right side off the rim. Rebound battle for Bruce Flowers, pulls it down for the Irish. Flowers comes up north, it's Bill Hanslick. Hanslick looking for the open man, finds Rich Brenning on the right side. Brenning, here's the ball to Flowers. Flowers with a shot, gets it up, won't get it in, a foul is called. 
He was hoping it would drop. The foul is going to be charged, I believe, to Bernard Toon. Shot up, but it's good by Flowers. Top ranked, the defending NCAA champion, Marquette Warriors. Here's the pass up court to Euler's Payne. Payne brings it up court. They've got a two-on-one. Payne going to the basket. Makes it up and gets it in. And Euler's Payne has 10 points as the Irish dig themselves deeper and deeper into a hole. Here's Browning, left side of Don Williams. Bounce pass in front of Tracy Jackson. Goes wide of him. On the road, they're a team that's won six of eight games. Jimmy Borden, the quarterback, brings the ball up court against Don Williams. Pass the timeline to the left forecourt. Changes hands on the dribble. Tells Wolfenberger to go down low. They've got two big men in there. Notre Dame playing man-to-man now. Odell ball over to Euless Payne. Payne matched against Tracy Jackson. Dribbles once. Drops the bounce pass over the ball. Ball taken by Bruce Flowers outside the Butch Lee. Marquette's now going to play the game. They've got, they're controlling here. They want Notre Dame to play their game. They want to frustrate the Irish, and that's just what they're doing. Porter with the ball. Down the left side, guarded by Williams. Comes back out. The ball works to Euler's Payne. Payne has it on the dribble. Chase by Tracy Jackson. Payne down the left side in front of the Notre Dame bench. Back over to Jimmy Borden. Four minutes, five seconds left to go. In the first half with Notre Dame trailing by 15. Marquette's got the ball. And a 32-17 lead. Odell ball from Jimmy Borden. Looking. Try to get the ball away. Does get the ball back over to Borden again. Borden still working against Don Williams. Odell ball tried to pick Williams off. Couldn't. Borden gets the ball off to the right side. The ball going to Butch Lee. Right a steal here by Bill Hanslick. A steal by Hanslick. Rest of the ball away from Butch Lee. Right side. Under the basket. Hanslick taking the feed from Williams. Puts the ball up and a traveling call. And Notre Dame doesn't get a much needed basket. Picked his pocket. Here, Jimmy Boyd. And up court, the ball going to Butch Lee. Lee drives by Tracy Jackson. Double team comes out. Looks double teamed again. Gets the ball over to Boyden. Boyden signals play number one. Over to Gary Rosenberger. Working to the right corner. Over to Euler's Payne. Down low. Boyden reverse layup. Shot good. Backdoor play by Jim Boyden. Reverse layup counted in 34-17. Flapper in the first half. Right corner, Hanslick. Alone, Tracy Jackson. Ten-footer puts it in. Tracy Jackson hits passes. Gets the ball and play to Boyden. Boyden now working against the double team with Hanslick and Williams. Loose leaping pass going up to the right side to Euler's Payne. Payne on the dribble, quarter court right side. Feeds the ball, top of the key to Odell Ball, over to Gary Rosenberger. Rosenberger can shoot from long range. He has not shot as yet. Euler's Payne in the lane and set it for a foot lead, deflected out of bounds by Bruce Flowers. Slaps the ball, everybody breaks, trying to find the open man. A looping pass out to Gary Rosenberger. 15 point lead for Marquette, 2.35 to go. Over to Jimmy Borden, and it's going to be a foul charge. The foul is going to be charged on who? And a technical foul is going to be called by Williams. Center jump, the ball tapped by Flowers. Hanslick get the ball at the key, right side. Williams will try to make it three points off the rim. Won't go, whistle foul. Time charged up. Three points for Don Williams. Here we go with Lee getting the ball into Jimmy Borden. Borden in the backboard, looking at a double team. Borden with a looping pass up to Gary Rosenberger. Rosenberger up the right side, and now Marquette will set up a draw bench. The Irish still in the man-to-man. Borden wants Butch Lee to come out, give the ball to Lee. Lee near the timeline at center court. Two minutes, ten seconds left to play in the first half, and Marquette has led all the way. Lee, one-on-one, fires over hands, but off the rim, won't go. Ball knocked away by Williams, taken by Tracy Jackson. Jackson comes up, past the timeline, drops the ball over to Brown. The quarterback for Notre Dame, Richie Browning, feet to the right side to Don Williams. Williams on the dribble. Loops the pass back to Browning. Browning works left to the key. Baseline, Tracy Jackson comes out. Back over to Browning again. Browning starts to drive in the lane. Running jump shot. Up off the rim. No good. Half up by Flowers. Miss. Rebound battle for the ball. Goes out of bounds. Marquette gets the call. We'll have to get it in. Lee in the corner to Rosenberger. Back over to Lee again. Lee guarded closely by Hanslick. Long pass up court over to Jimmy Boyden. Boylan has it at the right four quarter minute, 30 seconds left to play. Marquette by 12. Boylan at the key against Hanslick, one on one. In the lane, double team back out to Butch Lee. Lee back pedals now, picked up by Browning. Notre Dame playing man to man. Butch Lee backs up right in front of the Notre Dame bench on the far sideline. Driving on Hanslick. Lee to the hoop, back door, no good. Tap up, won't throw, does go in. A tap by Odell Ball. In the first half, Tracy Jackson, baseline jumper, knocked away from behind by Jimmy Boylan. A 68% shooter gets the second one in. 61 seconds left to play in the first half. And the Warriors with Borden with a long pass up court. They've been able to work that pass up on an angle to the right side every time. Notre Dame has not been able to stop it. Rosenbarger with a pass over to Borden going to the basket. Shots up. Good basket count. And a foul is called. Borden shoots the free throw and makes it. 
three. And that's what they go into, a two-three. Outside, Williams is going to have to fire. Gets it up and gets it in. At 18 foot from the left side, Duck Williams, five points. That makes it 39-25. Little Dame down by 14. 34, 33 seconds, 32 seconds left to play. 30 seconds in pound. Over to Borden. Eulis Payne's got it. Comes around the key. Marquette will work for the one good shot. Back over to Butch Lee, taken by Hanslick. 21 seconds left to play, 20. Butch Lee still has it on the dribble. Chased here by Hanslick, can't drive on Hanslick. Beats off the board and gets it back over to Butch Lee again. 10 seconds left. Here's Butch Lee with the ball. Down to nine, eight. Butch Lee against Hanslick. Butch Lee going to the lane, in the lane. Fade away, 13 for her. In and out, won't go, knocks off the board. Follow up, Payne won't drop in. Tracy Jackson rebounds, and there it is, the end of the first half. The Irish were out, rebounded, 15 to eight. Notre Dame controls the tap as the second half gets underway. The Irish moving left to right on your mutual radio dial. In the lane, Flowers with a long hit that won't go in. Jerome White is back in the ball game. Three fouls. He's back in the game for the Marquette Warriors. He's got Eulis Payne and Bernard Toon. Toon passing. The ball off the hands of Lee as he's cutting across the lane. And it's picked up by Bill Hanslick of Notre Dame. Running back in the corner. Hansling with a corner shot. Gets it! Hanslick from the corner drops it in out of the game, so he's one out of two. And the Irish crowd, 11,345, responds here at the Athletic and Convocation Center in Notre Dame. All right, we've got Lee on the wing, in the lane, Euler Payne, double team. Gets the ball to the corner out there, Bernard Toon. Toon goes out to the right point again. The Irish crowd, Carter with nice jumping, offensively and defensively for Notre Dame. Steal by Don Williams. Anticipating beautifully, lights it up and in. Donald Duck Williams with two for the basket. His second of the afternoon, his fourth point. Notre Dame goes into the press. Jimmy Boyle in the back corner. He picked up by Browning. The crowd on its feet here at the Athletic Convocation Center. Duck Williams pressuring Borden, whose pass goes to Butch Lee with a shot up, no good. Rebound by the four. Taken by Bernard Toon. It's up, but it's good. Bernard Toon with a basket. Reach everybody from Notre Dame under the hoop and get it up and in. 41-29, Marquette. Down low under the basket intended for Duck Williams. Deflected out of bounds. Looping pass, the ball goes out to Hanslick. Hanslick in the lane. Fake shot up by Trebuka. Got it up and in. Kelly Trebuka. Now in three games. So Kelly Trebuka gets his first hoop of the afternoon. 41-31, Notre Dame down by 10. More than four, Marquette. Phelps wanted a foul in that play, did not get the call he wanted. Eulis Payne on the wing. Out to Jerome Whited on a high post outside. Boylan had the ball ripped away by Bruce Flowers. Flowers threw the ball at court to Hanslick. It's stolen by Butch Lee. Gets it up and it won't go in. Rebound shot is up, but it's good by Bernard Toon. Marquette, tenacious, got it right back again. Duck Williams with a shot off the mark. Rebound, Flowers goes up, lays it up, gets it in. Throw the ball away from Jerome Wood and literally ripped it away. And Flowers has nine points. 43-33 the score. Marquette, 17 minutes left to go in the second half. Jimmy Borden crossing the timeline, working against Duck Williams, wheels around, at the lane, back pedals on the dribble, comes now out to the top of the key, feet to the right side, Butch Lee, driving baseline, has the ball knocked away, and a foul is called, it'll be charged to Bruce Flowers, Marquette up and in, he makes nine out of ten, now again the lead for Marquette is a dozen, up the sideline to Duck Williams. Williams gets away from Bernard Toon, in the lane, feed, shot by Kelly Trebuka, drops it in. Kelly Trebuka taking the baseline feed, and came up with a second basket. That's four points for him, 45-35. Notre Dame cuts the mark, get lead down to 10. Euler Payne, working against Don Williams, feeds the ball over to Jerome Whitehead. They get it to Butch Lee, Notre Dame drives back on defense. We're in the second half of the Athletic and Convocation Center. The Irish fans on their feet. Try to spur Notre Dame, and a foul has just been called. Slee will put it in play, gets it into Gilders Payne, gets it back again. 45-35, Marquette. Bernard Toon in the key, down low. They've got Jerome Whitehead working against Bruce Flowers. Warden goes right on the wing to Bernard Toon. Back out top of the key over to Butch Lee. Lee working one-on-one -on -one against Billy Hanslick. Down low, Whitehead with a bank shot up, but it's good. Check that, make it Euler's pain. 47 to 35, Marquette out in front. Hanslick in the corner. And it just appears that the Marquette Warriors are just that half a step for step too quick for Notre Dame. Baseline jumper right side, and Kelly Trebuchel, who hasn't been able to buy a basket the last two ball games, all of a sudden has three in the early going here in the second half. 
He had one hoop in the last uh, three games, two and a half games, and that was it. Now he's got six points. 47-37, Marquette by 10. The Irish putting the pressure on, but Borden gets the ball over to Butch Lee. Lee left to the key. Going down low is Jerome Whitehead. Feed to the right side, over to Borden. Borden holds. And a whistle and a foul. It's going to be an offensive foul call. Running to the right side of the key, over to Don Williams. Williams now on the dribble. Back over to Branning again. Branning looks to the corner, gives the ball to Bill Hanslick. Hanslick, looping pass out the right side. Williams fakes, fakes again. Looks, has the ball knocked away by Lee. But then it's thrown away by Kelly Trapuca. And Kelly Trapuca is going to get fouled. Throws his hands up. Here we go with Butch Lee at the top of the key. Rolls around to the right side. Try to shoot over Butch Foss. Try to work that uh, mismatch. Here's Whitehead having the ball ripped away. They got the mismatch with Whitehead sh uh, shooting against Hanslick. But Notre Dame took the ball away. Williams from the corner. It won't go in. Rebound battle for it. It's grabbed by Euler Payne of Marquette. Boy, I'll tell you, you put a ball up there and it's going to be something else. And Butch Lee lost the pass out on the right side. Take advantage. Here's the feed to the Irish. Bill Hanslick. Kelly Trapuca double teamed over to Bradding. Big line right. Don Williams out to Bradding. Right side of the key. Back to Williams in the corner again. Don dribbles back out. Bradding will take a 21-footer. Good! Richie Bradding, second basket, fourth point, 47 to 39. Marquette lead down to eight. Notre Dame goes into the full court press. Euler Payne has it, loses it, gets it back again. Dribbles the ball into the fourth court, tries to draw the foul. Now hands the ball very wisely to Butch Lee. Lee on the dribble against Hanslick. Deep to the right wing. The ball going over to Euler Payne. Payne looking for the open man. Whitehead gives the ball to Butch Lee. Face line drive, fade away, 10 footer. Hanslick deflects the ball out of bounds. And 6 7 sophomore out of the right, Wisconsin. Jimmy Bottom cuts the ball now. The feeling runs high here in the Athletic and Convocation Center. Bounce pass, Lee going to the hoop, reverse lay up on goal. Rebound, Kelly Kripuka of Notre Dame. Good off the side over to Don Williams, 47-39. Irish down it by eight, 13 minutes and 25 seconds left to play. Williams, speed left, down the wing to Hanslick. Dribble punch, starts his baseline drive, can't get by Eulis Payne. Down low, Kripuka with a bank shot, good! Kelly Kripuka! it over to Butch Lee. Notre Dame now in a looks like uh, what is it? What does it look like? Well, I guess they're playing a man for man. Now Butch Lee against uh, Richie Browning. Back over to Boylan again. Boylan taken here by Don Williams. Right wing over to Bernard too. Nobody going to pain at the top of the key. Down low they've got Jerome Whitehead. Whitehead has not had the ball too much in the second half. Here's Julius Payne starting his drive. Flips the ball out to Bernard Toon. Marquette's going to make Notre Dame come out and get the ball. They're going to test the Irish patience. Marquette did this early in the ball game. And the pass off the hands of Bernard Toon. Walks it out of bounds. Left wing. The ball is going to Bill Hanslick. Hanslick back out to Fugle. Right side running. Goes to the right corner. Duck Williams has it back out to running at the top of the key. Williams back fiddling on the dribble as they double team him. Back to running. Over to Williams. 20 footer. Got it. right side. Williams tries to head him off. Boyden slides into the offensive court. Here's a shot up by Euler. Payne goes to the first foul. He's got the rebound for Notre Dame. Payne looks like he had a sure two-quarter. The ball is to win them. Jeff came right out. First foul. He's got the rebound. Bradding over to Hanslick on the wing left. Back to Bradding. Top of the key. Comes to the right side over to Don Williams. Back over to Bradding again. Now the average have the momentum going for them. Williams on the wing to the right side. Takes the 20 for the around the rim, no good. Rebound is taken by Bernard Toon. That was not a good percentage shot. It was not a good shot for Don Williams. The Irish not showing the patience that Marquette has. 47 to 43, Eula Payne, Bernard Toon, 18-footer off the rim. Rebound by Rich Bradding of Notre Dame. Lead pass to Kelly Kutuka. Going to the basket, he is fouled. Eula Payne grabbed him around the waist. 47-44, nine points for Tripuca. Up and no good. Tapped up, grabbed by Boylan. So, Notre Dame down by a three-point play. 11-minute mark as Marquette brings the ball to court. The top-ranked Warriors had a wing-ding battle that was dominated by Marquette in the first half. Notre Dame has taken charge in the second half. 
Here's a feed by Bernard Kuhn. The ball's going on a wing. Right side of a tree. Lee back pedals on the dribble. Taken by Bill Hanslick. Feeds the ball to Jerome Whitehead, who comes out from that low post. He's at a high post now. Lee over to Borden. They work it around. Bernard Kuhn. Back over to Jimmy Borden. High post to Whitehead. On the give. Borden with a bank shot. Gets it up. Gets it in. Then Mark Kettigan leads it by five. Branning. Wing left over to Hanslick. Hanslick dribbles once, dribbles twice, gives the ball to Kelly Tribuca. Dribbles toward the lane. The Hanslick baseline in the corner. Hanslick now double teamed, looking for the open man. Over to Kelly Tribuca. He double teamed, has to loop the pass out to Branning. Branning at the top of the key over to Flowers. Wasn't expecting it. Fake shot up, in, out, right back in again. And Flowers gets the basket. Hits another point, 49 to 46, a three point lead. Here's the ball in the backcourt. Butch Lee bringing it up very quickly. Notre Dame try to steal. Lee around one man, double team, bank shot, in and out, won't go. Rebound, battle for loose ball. Notre Dame gets the call. Digger Phelps down in his haunches in front of the Notre Dame bench. 49 46. The tension is tremendous here at the Athletic and Convocation Center. Here's Branning, left side on the wing over to Billy Hanslick. Hanslick on the dribble, baseline, cut off by Euler's Payne. Gets the ball over to Flowers. Flowers back to Hanslick in the corner. Flips the ball out, gives the ball to Tribuca. On the dribble, 15 footer, won't go in. Rebound, grabbed by Tribuca, puts it up again, foul. He is fouled, and who's the foul going to be called on? 49 47, Irish down by two, make it one. 11 points for Tribuca. Flee will put the ball in play. Gets it in over to Jimmy Borden. Borden picked up in the backcourt by Richie Browning. Five minutes, five seconds left to go. A 17-point lead down to one. Which Lee right side. Double teamed in the corner out to Borden. Borden up the key. Comes back around again. Dribbles out to the top of the key near the timeline. Feed left to Bernard Tune. Tune on the dribble. Gives the ball over to Butch Lee. Lee now looks at the bench. Feed right over to Euler's Payne. Working against Don Williams. Can't drive on Williams. Here's Bernard Tune inside shot. Up, but it's good. Nice shot by Bernard Toon. 8.30 left to go to the ball game. The Irish were favored by two today. Jackson on the wing left. Looping pass instead of a Williams picked off by Brenning. And Notre Dame is going to call for a timeout. Eight minutes, 20 seconds left to go to the ball game. With the score, Marquette 51, Notre Dame 48. Let's take a timeout. Brenning getting the inbound pass from Don Williams. Brenning over to Williams on the left wing. Bounce pass in the corner to Dave Batten. Back out to Browning again. Browning moves to the right of the key. Hooked up by Butch Lee. Browning feeds baseline right. Batten has not scored this afternoon. Back over to Browning. Over to Batten again. Batten picked up by Bernard Toon. Dribbles once. Gives the ball out to Browning. Takes a 21-footer. Got it! Richie Browning from 21 feet. Where the ball long. Decides not to. Goes short to Eunice Bay. Gets it back again. Long pass up court to Jerome Whitehead. Against Batten, puts the ball up and gets it in nice and easy. Jerome Whitehead, his sixth of the game, his first of the second half is 12 points. 53-50, Marquette by three. Here's Branning over to Batten. Batten on the wing. Back out to Branning again. Feet to the right side, over to Don Williams. Over to Branning. Feet left, over to Batten. Batten starts to drive, baseline, won't take the shot. Pass a very hard one over to Williams, saves it from going out of bounds. Williams did a good job of that pass. Here's Branning over to Batten again. Batten working the ball down low. Gracie Jackson, foul footer, switch. Gracie Jackson, baseline, left. He's got seven points this afternoon. Marquette, down Williams to the ball for Notre Dame. Picked up by Borden, backs off on the dribble. Gives the ball to the quarterback, Branning. Feed left over to Hanslick on the left wing. Hanslick back out to Branning, top of the key, 21 footer. Whoa, it does go in. It had just enough to get over the front and put in. And Richie Branning has eight points. And Notre Dame is down by one again, 55-54. Again, with five minutes left to go. The Irish have never led. They've never tied this game. Up the right side, Jimmy Borden for Marquette. Under the five-minute mark. Gives the ball over to Butch Lee. Chuck the Marquette bench gets his instructions from Hank Raymond. Back over to Boyden on the wing again. Boyden looking for the open man underneath. A lot of folks there. See Butch Lee. Fake jump shot up around and in. Butch Lee working free. Got an eight-footer up at him for a dozen points. And again, it's Marquette 57, Notre Dame 54. Three-point lead. Has to be frustrating for the Irish. Williams, top of the key over to Branning. Branning back over to Hanslick. In the lane. Kelly Tribuca had the ball kicked away out of bounds. It's going to be Notre Dame giving the ball up to Marquette. Marquette got the call. Marquette has a chance to go up by five. And now the Irish are going to face the tough test. 4.20 on the clock. Butch Lee will bring it up court against Bill Hanslick. Goes left swing to Bernard Toon. 
Dude looking for Whitehead, gives the ball to Lee instead. Lee in the lane, heavy traffic, jump shot, won't go in. Rebound pulled down by Kelly Trapuka. And what a job he's done on the board for the Irish. Third up court, Granny's got it from Hansley. Granny across the top of the key with four minutes left to go. Dodd Williams back out to Branning. Speed left, over to Hanslick. Hanslick looking, back over to Branning again. Branning up the key, right side of Don Williams. 350 on the clock now. Marquette by three, 57 to 54. Off it goes to Branning. Branning picked up by Borden. Branning at the key, double team. Or Don Williams coming out now. Williams at the right point. Gives the ball off to Branning. The Irish looking for the good shot, the percentage shot, the one that'll put him within uh, one point of Marquette for half the three-point play. Rebuke the baseline, Hanslick lets it fly, it, but he got it! Hanslick hit! Hanslick for the basket, his fourth point, that'll make it 57 to 56, and Marquette's lead is down to one again. Three minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the ball game. In the backcourt, Butch Lee against Hanslick. Butch Lee past the timeline with 3.13 to go. Butch Lee gives the ball to Bernard Toon. Marquette by one. Jimmy Borden's got it. Over to Toon. Fake left. Dribbles once. Comes out to the right point. Being pressured now by Kelly Trapuca. Wheels around. It's going to be a jump ball call. Jump ball. It'll be a jump ball at center court. Toon could not find him out open as the Irish defense really got sticky. Hanslick scoring a couple as well. And, of course, the big man was Kelly Trapuca not only on the boards, but Trapuca scored 11 points in the second half while being held scoreless in the first half. Three minutes remaining. Three minutes left in the ball game. Tap by Bernard to not come in here. Hanslick gets the ball on the backboard. And Notre Dame can take the lead for the first time this afternoon. They're down by 157 to 56. The key Bradding. Top of the key over to Hanslick. Don Williams, 23. But he got it! put up said, all right, I want the four quarters. Williams, over to Kapuka. Kapuka, looking, starts to drive up the middle of the foul. It's going to be called a pushing foul on Bernard Toon. That's number four on Bernard Toon. Notre Dame, a two-point favorite for the putting average of Notre Dame. A minute 57 to go. Hanslick will put the ball in play for the Irish. Look for the open man. Looking, looking, wants a timeout. Hanslick could not find anybody open. And they're not shooting anywhere near that in the second half. 58-57. Billy Hanslick will put the ball in play. Notre Dame players will break. Davey Batten's got the ball. Give the ball over to Hanslick. Taken now by Bernard Toon. Hanslick wheels around on the dribble. Starts to drive. Goes to the basket. Stops. Lifts the ball out to Don Williams. They're going to play fourth corner. They're going to play keep away. They're going to make the uh, Marquette foul. Here's Porter now chasing Don Williams. And Porter almost stole the ball. Williams got it back again. Batten's got it. Notre Dame almost lost it. And here's Batten trying to get the ball to a neat open man. He got it to Branning. Branning wheels around. He's in the corner. Trying to get Batten out of the way. Gives the ball over to Batten. Batten on the dribble. The big guy comes in the middle. He wants to get rid of the ball. Gives it over to Hanslick. We're down a little bit. 22 seconds left to go. Hanslick on the dribble against Bernard Toon. Starts his drive. Slips. Whites himself. Gets the ball over to Don Williams. If this is the four quarters, it's a shaky four quarters for Notre Dame. Don Williams controls, brings the ball out, gives it to Hanslick again. Williams may have turned his ankle, and that's what happened, or that or lost his shoe, and that's what it is. Williams had the shoe fall off, and Notre Dame had to call a timeout. So with the timeout, let's take time for this message from Oldsmobile. 66 seconds left. 66 seconds left to play in the game. Branding in the backcourt against Gary Rosenberg. They're now in four mark yet. Branding against Rosenberger. Branding kind of penetrating the attacking zone. Duck Williams has the ball. Comes back out again. Being chased now by Boyden. Williams has the ball. Wheels around. Goes to the key. And a foul is going to be called on Jimmy Boyden. One to get the second shot. Gets it up. Gets it in. The bonus shot. Up in. 60-57, Notre Dame by three, 49 seconds left to go. Jimmy Borden to the key, Jimmy Borden in the lane, Jimmy Borden to the basket, shot block. Rebound battle for, and the ball goes to Notre Dame. Right ninth in the AP poll, number 12 of UPI. Here's Batten in the backcourt, gets the ball off to Kelly Trapuca. Gets the ball across court, over to Richie Browning. 
Riding over to Don Williams. 35 seconds to go. The stands on their feet. Puts the foul Don Williams. That's not the man you want to foul. Freshman prospect. Williams' shot is missed. And it's good. 61-57, ordered in by four. 30 seconds to go. Butch Lee all the way gets it up. Won't get it in. And a foul is going to be called. It's going to be an offensive foul on Butch Lee. Kelly Kaplitz has just faced himself under the basket. Up and good. 27 seconds left. And it's in. Butch Lee. 20 seconds left in the lane. 15 footer off the rim. Tap up. No good. Rebound battle four. And who we got? We've got a whistle and a foul. The Irish up and in. And it's it. New number one. Uh, wouldn't bet against the Kentucky Wildcats getting it. Jumper, baseline, off the rim. 65-57. Up around, no good. Bernard Toon pulls down the rebound. Oh, you station break, get it to you in just a moment. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Butch Lee, 40-footer, goes in at the buzzer. Butch Lee gets it, but Notre Dame. 